<laughs> do your best impression of me. <laughs> We're both gonna do this, so yeah. Best go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> hey, so what's up? My name is Sir of Black Trans TV, and I just hope you have a great and spiritual and beautiful blessing day. That's me. Sir out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. You always do the prayer hands. You do that a lot. I do, I do. Um, okay, I gotta do impression. Now you gotta do me, so go ahead, hit it. It's gonna be I have so many options. Um, let's see. Maybe like, okay, so like you be on your phone, you're doing your stories, and you're like, hey, so <laughs> just had an amazing day. Oh, my eyelashes look so good. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, pay it, pay it. Pay it. Pay it. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, so I don't know what weight to wear, but like, yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Okay. And I want you to go out there and enjoy your day. That's you. Wow. Who said I wear wigs? <laughs> Oops. Wow. Sometimes you wear a wig. <laughs> <laughs> my hair changes so much. You know what I'm saying? I mean, People sometimes know. it's so obvious. No, you just out of me, it's fine. Okay. Is it my turn? Yes. That was a great impression. Oh, that's what I wanted that to hear. That was cute. That Thanks. was cute. That was I'll give cute. you your props. I'll All right, give you cool, your props. cool. I, I pay attention. You're just doing the most, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. What have you been hesitant to tell me? Hmm. Um, I've been hesitant to tell you that, like, I'm scared of you dying. Or, like, scared of finding out that you're going to be, like, murdered. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, with all the animosity towards people like you, um, yeah. which is the reason why I call you every night. You know, I want to make sure you get home safe and that you're good. Like, you're one of my best friends, you know, like mm -hmm. the closest people to me. So I don't know if I actually, actually said that word to you, like mm -hmm. told you that I'm scared of you dying, which is why, like, I really cherish our friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with a lot of yeah. black women and femmes being murdered yeah. out here in these streets. It is, it is intense, and yeah. you being a black man. Yeah. It's hard for us in general. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of my friends think that now. I think mm -hmm. now that I'm definitely more visually in this like femme mode, yeah. um, aesthetically, I think people are definitely way more concerned. And I think mm -hmm. we're more concerned with each other as in yeah. a whole. In a, so, yeah. Yeah, so. Well, thanks, Miss, honey. Happy you're here another day. I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Every day is a blessing. Amen, amen, amen. It's my turn. Yeah, unless you want to do... Wait, can I ask that question to you? Yeah, sure. What, what, what was it? <laughs> yeah, what have you been hesitant to tell me? Um, <laughs> a part of me is jealous of the, the bond that you have with your sibling. Mm. Yeah. I just love the dynamic that you have with your family and how close-knit you are and how... It's such an inspiration to see black love be so genuine between like your mother and and your sister and you know and it's just such a powerful and beautiful dynamic that y'all have and loving dynamic and I think I've learned that through you how to express my love for my family because um, I haven't heard I think from my mother I love you mm. like my entire life. Mm. We're not a very mushy family. Mm. Um, so it's always beautiful to kind of see other representations of black families that do express their feelings and do sit down and have conversations and talk to their parents and their siblings every day. So it's kind of change that cycle. But I feel like you're getting closer to your mom at least. I know about your sister, but. Yeah, my sister, she's a Pisces. Yeah, but so. you're having more conversations <laughs> with your mom in like an open way. Oh, no, I know, absolutely. Really good. Yeah. And hopefully she says, I love you one day, you know? My mom says it a lot, so maybe I'll like take one of those I love you to my mom and just toss it your way. Yeah. I mean, I jokingly say it with my mother, it's just so maybe she'll say it back, but yeah. she never does. It's kind of weird. Does but... it hurt? Mm -hmm. Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt. I just think it's weird. It's yeah. just kind of like awkward, like, mm. so you're not going to say it back? Yeah. But she, her parents never told her that either, gotcha. so it's just like an ongoing cycle that I have to be the one to break. Yeah. Um, but it's tough, you know, someone in their 30s, like, okay, I got to break this cycle now. Yeah. But, you know, you got to do it. You ready for the next question? Yeah. All right. When do you feel people judge us, and why do you think they do? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every time we're together. Every time we yeah. out. Because it comes from all different um, 
forms and aspects of people. Like, yeah. feminine people are probably like, yeah. you know, why is why is he with them? And yeah, da, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or and then like masculine people are like, mm -hmm. why are they together? Or, you know, are they, what's going on there? Like mm -hmm. everything is a question for people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I feel like we're constantly getting judged and looked at, especially me. So yeah, I mean, I I think those are the moments where they like really pisses me off. You know? Yeah. I I feel like the number one assumption from both women like especially black women and black men is always like oh so they're together and mm -hmm. then it's like well why is it an assumption that someone has to be with somebody just because you can't figure it out you know what i mean yeah and it's just like it does anger me mm -hmm. you know inside but i've tried to not show anger and just like smile at them like like what are you going to do you know because right. you're not going to do nothing with me here you know no yeah. one's going to bother you with me by your side that's that's a guarantee. Security. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. But I, you know, it's just homophobia and transphobia within the black community because white people don't look at us weird. It's, yeah. It, you know, it's it, it, it's not that same. You know. And that's experience. I told that to my mother. Yeah. She ha she didn't get it maybe because you yeah. know she's straight. <laughs> yeah. She's like. I always tell them, mm -hmm. like, white people don't judge me. And most, mm -hmm. most white people don't look at me or judge me in a yeah. certain way. They, they're more, like, they're more interested in knowing more. Yeah. They're not, like, you know, you know, taking it away or, like, you know, like, just staring shocked and, and like, staring and gawking. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of people of color aren't used to seeing someone so confident and living in their true form. Yeah. So I think, it's, I think it, it is really tough for them to kind of be, like, I don't get it. Yeah. But I want to know more, but I don't want to seem like I'm interested in knowing mm -hmm. more because, you know, to them or to a lot of, you know, black people, mm -hmm. um, that I'm a little bit of like a freak show, you know? Yeah. It's great to have you as a friend because you're, you're uh, a guard from the bullshit. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I'm like, I already know <laughs> you're not accepting of all black people. I can't be around you, you know? Because I got to be is. cautious of my energy. So. I'm well, just the, happy that we're friends. The community is getting yeah. better. I think we're becoming more open and honest yeah. with, you know, our thoughts, our emotions with each yeah. other and communicating that. So For sure. So I'm happy we're friends. Snaps for the black people. keep fucking it up, all right? Okay, shake the table. Shake the table. What is the greatest lesson I taught you? Hmm. I feel like we answered that. Well, no, not oh, necessarily. Okay. Um, oh, it's <laughs> Greatest lesson that you taught me is to live authentically and to be free. I'm still working on the free part. Um, I feel like I've gotten to a level of freedom where I'm cool and expressing myself through jewelry and makeup and clothes. Um, however, I feel like there's a part of me that I'm not ready to, to you know, be completely free with. Um, mm. So I'm, I'm working on that. And that's just like, you know, just me dealing with like inner turmoil and trauma and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and especially like being a black man. So. I am grateful to have you as my friend because you've helped me, um, you know, uh, understand what freedom looks like. Yeah. So, I thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Would you like me to ask you the question? Sure. Um, what is the greatest lesson you've taught me? Or I taught you. I didn't read that right. <laughs> <laughs> what is the greatest lesson <laughs> that I I taught you? <laughs> the greatest lesson you taught me. Yeah. Um, hmm. To know and be more loving of my blackness mm -hmm. um, and my black experience mm -hmm. um, and my black history mm -hmm. as well. You have grown. So I'm happy I taught you that lesson. Yes. Because we've come a long way. We have come a long way. Jesus Christ, yes. Yeah, a long it way. was yeah. tough. Yeah. When like, we were talking about know, police brutality and officers. Well, that and, was the thing. You didn't agree with the whole you know, police. Well, I don't think all police officers are bad. And I still don't think Next that question. to this day. Next question. If this were to be our last conversation, what's something you never want me to forget? Whew. I know. That's a good one. Jeez. Um, that, of course, I love you. Mm -hmm. um, you are dope. You are brilliant. Mm -hmm. You are amazing. Mm -hmm. You are a gorgeous, sexy black man. Mm -hmm. um, you are enough. And um, uh, 
I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Um, <laughs> Don't cry, Nivy. Don't cry, Nivy. Um, no, you just you mean you mean so much to me. Mm -hmm. You mean so much to me, and I'm so appreciative of every time that we spend together. Mm -hmm. And um, I just want you to know that. Sweet. Love you so much. Yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna retort it back to you. So. Um, that was our last conversation. I just want you to know, and I kind of I feel like I treat every day that way because I am worried about you know you mm -hmm. out there in the world. I got my will ready just in case. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> I ain't um, scared. You know what I'm saying? I know. Saying? I know. I'm not scared of death either. Yeah. Right? I guess it's just like I would hate for you to not ascend to where you're supposed to be in this world mm -hmm. because someone wanted to clip your wings. But um, you're amazing, you know, and I just want you to know that your legacy will live on. For sure. Thank you. Thank you, my kid. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Melanie from The Skin Deep. Thank you so much for watching. I'm currently on the set of The End. And if you want to support our videos and help us make more, please check out our link on Patreon. And if you want to watch more videos, check it out below. Thanks. <laughs>